हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द इन्फ्लुएंस लाइन डायग्राम फॉर बेंडिंग मूवमेंट नाउ फॉर फाइंडिंग द इन्फ्लुएंस लाइन डायग्राम फॉर बेंडिंग मूवमेंट एट अ पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन सी वी नीड टू यूज अ सिंपली सपोर्टेड बीम हियर हुज स्पान लेंथ इज स्मॉल एल एंड द सेक्शन इज एट A meter from left support and B meter from right support. Now, for the calculation of bending moment at C, we need to find the support reaction that is VA and VB. For finding the support reaction, we need to use the equilibrium condition that is summation of forces in vertical direction equals to zero. So we had written here summation of V equals to zero. So VA plus VB is equals to one. Now we will use the second equilibrium condition that is Moment about B is equals to zero. Now from A, the equation will become V A into L. Here positive sign is because of clockwise movement minus one into L minus X because of this unit load acting in the anti-clockwise direction. So V A will be equals to L minus X upon L. Now for finding the bending moment at a particular section C, we need to use the two condition that is when Unit load is in AC portion. Okay, when unit load is in AC portion, then we need to find the bending moment at C. So the equation will become minus one into a minus x. Minus sign is because of anti-clockwise movement here. Plus V A into a here plus is because of clockwise movement due to vertical reaction at A. So After putting the value of V A that is L minus X upon L here, we will get bending moment at C equals to X into L minus A upon L, where L minus A will be equals to B. So it will become X B upon L. And this equation is valid for X between zero to A. Now at X equals to zero, if we put the value of X here. That is zero. Then bending moment at C will becomes zero. Now, if we put the value of x equals to a here, then bending moment at C will become a b by l. Clear to all? Now we need to use the second condition. That is when load is in C b portion. Now, when this unit load is in C b portion like this, then if we consider the first section, that is A C section. Then the value of bending moment at C will be equals to V A into A. After putting the value of V A here, L minus X upon L into A, this equation is valid for X between A to L from here to here. Okay. Now if we put X equals to A here, then bending moment at C will becomes A B by L. Similarly, at X equals to L, the value of bending moment at C will be equals to zero. Now, after putting all the values, we will get a graphical representation like this: that at x equals to zero, bending moment at C will be equals to zero. At x equals to L, that is A plus B, bending moment at C will be zero. And at x equals to A, bending moment will be equals to A B by L. That is the influence line diagram for bending moment at C. That is the variation of bending moment with distance. Okay, students. Now, one conclusion is drawn from the Muller-Bess law principle. That is, to draw the ILD for bending moment at any section. Which is at a distance of A and B from both the supports on a span of length L. Assume an imaginary hinge at section and lift it by amount AB by L. The corresponding reflected shape will be the ILD for bending moment. Now, if we want to draw ILD for bending moment at a particular section, then we need to consider here an imaginary hinge and we want to lift that hinge by an amount AB by L. Now, if we lift that hinge by AB by L, then the deflected shape will corresponds to influence line diagram for bending moment at C section. 
that is the conclusion drawn from muller breslow principle now if you want to draw influence line diagram for bending moment at any particular section then just lift that section by an amount ab by n ab by l you will get influence line diagram for bending moment that is all about the influence line diagram for bending moment thank you very much students